if you ever try to track an object using uh, the camera's position handles and the rotation handles, you probably notice that it doesn't usually work out the way you hoped it would. Um, here's an example. At every keyframe here, the camera is always pointing at the object as you would expect it to if you were tracking an object, right? Well, what you end up with is it kind of tracks okay at first and then we're still kind of okay but wobbly and then what happened there and this if things tend to work out this way the rotation doesn't match up the way it's supposed to um the way i get around it is this let me get rid of these keyframes first gonna get this blimp out of the way because we're gonna build a simple camera rig that should probably solve this problem we need to add a camera rig null it's just a null I'm calling camera rig uh, we need a null for a look at vector and we need a null for the pole vector and these should all be at zero, zero, zero. They should all be sitting at the origin. And I have two camera rigs for some reason. I'm just gonna get rid of one. Gonna go over to the scene editor. And I'm gonna put the pole vector, parent it to the camera rig. The look at vector can stay free. Uh, the camera's gonna go into the camera rig as well but we need a bone for that to sit on. So, I'm gonna go into setup. I'm gonna zoom into the right viewport really good. Let me move the camera to the, to the center. Zero, 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 just like everything else that's parented to the uh, camera rig now. And all we're gonna do with the camera rig, uh, camera rig selected, we're going to draw bones coming out of the center of the rig now. Doesn't really have to be perfectly centered. Um, the camera's gonna sit on it pretty much wherever you, you put it on there. Um, but I, I like to keep it centered just so it looks good. And then what you need to do, if you go into the bone motion properties, actually, let's go back to the scene editor and parent the camera to the bone. So that those two move together. And there that is. And I'm going to go into the bone properties. I'm going to hit M to open up the motion options. Set the target item to the look at. Set the pole item to the pole, those two nulls that we just added. And then the pole needs to be moved up a little bit so that it sits above the camera rig. So I just grab that and move it up a tad. And now I can grab the camera rig and move it back the camera follows it. If you see in the perspective viewport, let me make this big. And what's happening is the camera is following the bone and the bone is pointing at this look at null right here. So that's one way to control the camera. And if I move the blimp back down into the scene, you can see that by moving the rig around, we can actually track the blimp from any angle without the bounciness and without the confusion as far as the angles go, where the angles are suddenly positive, where they were negative before, and this and that. Um, whoops will help if I keyframe something. And the other thing you can do is you can move the look at vector around. So I just grab the look at. And you can move it 
to the back of the blimp if you want. Say we set a keyframe for the uh, the rig to kind of do a half an orbit. Let's put it up somewhere. Let's do a real quick animation here. And then say at the in the middle of it we want this thing looking at the tail. And at the end we want it looking at the front. So we move the look at to the front. And when you animate it, or when you play the animation, it comes together pretty well. There's not a whole lot of wobbly. Slide to the front. 